How to match foreground and background colors in Photoshop. First we will find dark gray and white colors from background and apply it to foreground subject using gradient maps. Welcome to PS Desire Photoshop and Photography YouTube channel. In this episode, I will show you how to match colors for good composition when you cut out subject and place on different backgrounds. First thing we need to do, find shadows, midtones and highlight colors from original background. Here I use trust hole layer to find dark and bright spots. Take picker tool and hold shift to make a mark for finding dark spot. Similarly, now find white spot by dragging slider opposite direction. Now we got dark and white areas. We need to find gray area. Finding gray spot is really tricky. We cannot find it easily like darks and whites. Create a new layer and fill it with 50% gray color and change blending mode to difference. Now again use threshold layer to find dark spot. This time dark spot refers to midtones. We can delete grey and threshold layers because we don't need of it anymore. Now with the help of pickers, we select colors. We successfully completed finding colors. Now cut out the model from the original photo and to place her into new background. Since the model has typically been shot in different environment than you used to photograph your background, one of the occurring problem is to match the color, which is essential to make the final composite believable. Now we use gradient map and add shadows, midtones and highlight colors to it. Now apply colors what we have selected before using color picker. We need gradient map colors effect only to foreground subject. So create clipping mask, hold on the alt or option key and move your cursor between the two layers. You will see an arrow appear, click to apply. 
Change blending to color and reduce opacity to around 25 to 30 percent. Here is before and after results. Thanks for watching. Keep visit our channel for more video tutorials. If you really enjoyed this video, please subscribe, post a comment, click thumbs up, like and share videos with your friends. See you again in next tutorial.